Toronto is diverse, but St. Jamestown is diverse. I've never seen so much different people in one place. I can see many different kind of cultures here. St. Jamestown for Canada, for Toronto, it's like a beacon for new immigrants that are coming to this country. It's one of the first places you go if you come to Canada and you need a place to live and you need a place to live that's cheap. It's a very diverse community and, you know, as a result, possibly one of the most neglected communities in the city. It has been known to be one of the more upscale neighborhoods when it was first developed back in the 60s uh, and it's just slowly lost its luster over the years. St. Jamestown is basically a neighborhood that is rather closed off. There's not really any streets. There's 18 or 19 high-rises that house 17,000 people. It's a poor, low-income neighborhood in a downtown urban center. My name is Mark Arahib. Sarah O'Rahiv. DJ Eloquence. Jace Cosmic. Maurizio Ruiz. I'm Jen Show. My name's Anthony Pissoon. Andre Gindi. Dan Carroll. Sean Roman. I'm Chris Ponell. I'm Sasha Roman, and we are the Fashion Design Workshop Leaders. Rap Writing and Performance Workshop. I'm the Arts Coordinator. Film and Video. I uh, teach DJing. I teach the animation program here. Self-defense. My name is Jose Gabriel, and I run the Graffiti Arts Mural Program at U for Change in St. Jamestown. U for Change is a, it's an arts and culture project for youth uh, in and around St. Jamestown. Organized by uh, generally by youth for the youth in this area specifically. Uh, to teach arts programming and give them, you know, an arts education. With the objective of having people be able to uh, learn more about themselves and what they want to do in their lives. Well, Youth for Change is a government-funded pilot project. It's the first of its kind uh, ever. What we do is we serve youth from the ages of 16 to 29, and it's a six-month arts training program, and it's very intensive. But then we take it to another level uh, that we provide a sense of community, we provide food and other supports, and then what we try to do is focus all the things that they, they've been doing into developing a plan for themselves. The programs in this course range from, uh, wow, from animation to DJing to fashion. Uh, we cover you know, almost every creative facet that there is, uh, so the youth have a you know, tremendous you know, list of arts that they can explore from, that they can use to, you know, express themselves and make art with. Each of us, we are in um, the improv group together. And apart from, from that, I'm doing um, theater act acting. I definitely, I've never tried theater before, and uh, after you for Change, I'm really looking forward to maybe volunteer and uh, get, get more involved in the drama dramatic arts. I did breakdance, animation, and drums. It's not only arts, we also talk about, you know, like human rights, um, like their human rights as, you know, citizens of Canada, um, community and community development, and what they can do for their community and why their community is a certain way. To come here and do singing workshops, songwriting workshops, poetry workshops, all the workshops that I did, but then also the human rights workshops and the community building workshops are things that youth won't get anywhere. So it's just an amazing program that's changing the community. The arts are a very egalitarian, very democratizing way of bringing people together. Well, Youth for Change is one of the most diverse programs I've ever encountered in my life. Um, I mean, you have people from all over the world that come here together just to, uh, you know, be exposed and be involved in the arts. The diversity of the program reflects the diversity of Toronto and St. Jamestown in general. Even in my class, um, you have Christians, Muslims coming together, you have um, um, men and women working together and it just brings a, a cohesion. I feel I'm more capable of talking to other people from other cultures and 
I feel that I can relate to them in some way. We all have something in common. Youth for Change is important to the youth because it provides them with uh, the training and the opportunity to get trained by professionals so that if they have any arts aspirations that they can actually gather the skills and proper training to actually um, pursue a career possibly in that, in that field. With our program, we go from the very beginning of making a garment to the end of it. So it's really um, similar to what you would do in school or in real life if you were to start your own business as a designer. I teach the environmental stream, um, and, and, and that's a huge, huge job market. I mean, green energy, green infrastructure, green building, it's, it's the largest employer in Canada. Uh, and in the future, the largest employer in the world. Um, and so, you know, what I like about Youth for Change is it blends our, it's in a, it integrates human rights and environment and, and all these issues. Uh, and shows youth that there is a sea of opportunity out there. It's hard times out there, you know, and we live in a very media-oriented world. You know, kids only see what television shows them and what advertising shows them, show them. And, you know, all they're seeing is flashy clothes and partying and money and this and that. And they don't realize how a lot of these people get that stuff. A lot of kids get distractions. You can have distractions as of getting into crime because you need fast cash. You know, and then when you're given the opportunity to, you know, sell a drug or you make some quick cash, they're gonna jump on it, especially when no one else is giving them an opportunity. So if there's an organization like you for change in their community saying, hey, you don't have to walk that path. You can actually come here, we'll give you skills to walk a different path and to get you started on a good career, something righteous, something that you can be proud of. Come, come to us, you know? I was um, on welfare, living at my friend's house, I'm barely talking to my family. I was barely in school, like failing everything, and I just did not know where my life was going. And I was going through a lot of hard problems, and just it was hard times for me. And coming here was like just that little hope that I had to like actually better myself. Normally, you know, the youth in this area wouldn't be able to get the kind of arts programming that we offer. Without this program, what other options would the youth have? Uh, in terms of arts education. It's like a little bit of like a whirlwind sometimes, like kind of like how this snow's falling right now. It's just like, I walk in on a, on a weekly basis and I don't know what to expect. It's a very creative environment, it's a very accepting environment, a very open environment. What we try to do is always make them feel comfortable from the moment they walk through here. Not make it feel like it's a teacher, student thing, it's more of a friend, family thing. The aura here is, is can be wrapped up in one word and that's family. Opportunity. Connected. Inspiration. Before you purchase, I didn't have anything to do. So now I know about photography and I know what can I do with my future in the next couple of years. I'm in university, in college, uh, probably I'm going to pull it off like uh, my job, like my career, right? I wish that I could have had this opportunity growing up, so it's cool to be a part of this and to give this back to the youth. Youth for Change is really important because it focuses, it really focuses on what's good. I love it and I've just been as more positive than I've ever been in my life. It helped me to create a confidence um, that I've never known. Like I actually think of myself as someone that's actually important because before it's just kind of like, eh, I'm not that important, I'll just kind of go through life. But now it's like I can go through life and make big, huge stomps and people will hear, <laughs> you know?